bum, 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 bum. Gamer news. Last Outrider here with some interesting um, Games Workshop updates for you. Matt Ward returns to Games Workshop. Probably Warhammer 40K. Yes, <clears throat> probably one of the well most well-known developers of Games Workshop, if you don't know, left the company in 2014, I believe, two years ago, and has been gone. Today, uh, it's confirmed, or at least he's confirmed on his Twitter page, that Matt Ward is officially back at Games Workshop. Some of you are going to be happy. Most of you are going to go insane, wondering what's going to happen now. So if, if you don't know who Matt Ward is, he is the designer behind more codex and rule books than you could shake a medium-sized stick at, <laughs> as they put in the news article. Um, however, some people think his return has to do with the fact that Games Workshop has reported uh, stock price stock prices have dropped by over 24 percent so far this year oh wait no profits have dropped by 24 percent stock prices i'm not sure how much it's dropped but i guess it's pretty big too if you're losing 24 percent profits this has actually resulted in a large product drawdown at games workshop what is a drawdown well if you're an owner of an independent store, you may have gotten a notice from Games Workshop that you will only get two copies of the latest two codexes, the, the, the Blood Angels and um, uh, the Hate Codex. Uh, of course, Games Workshop's own stores didn't have that restriction. This could be due to the fact that they're not producing as many, and maybe they're not producing as many because they don't have as much money to make as many. That's a question for you to think about, but maybe this is all connected with Matt Ward. We don't know. If you're wondering what Matt Ward has done, let me give you the list of supplements this guy has created or helped create over the last 12 years he was there. You may know uh, Blood Angel 2nd Edition, Grey Knights 1st Edition, uh, Inyandin 1st Edition, Necron 2nd Edition, Sentinels of Terra 1st Edition, Space Marines 3rd Edition, Lord of the Rings Battle of Pelennor Fields, Lord of the Rings itself, uh, Fall of the Necromancer, Lord of the Rings, Gondor in Flames, Lord of the Rings, Herod, Lord of the Rings, Ruin of Ar Arnor, Arnor, Lord of the Rings, Shadow and Flame, Lord of the Rings, Shadow in the East, uh, Lord of the Rings, Scouring of the Shire, Lord of the Rings, War of the Ring, Warhammer 40,000 Rulebook, 5th Edition, Warhammer 40,000 Rulebook, 6th Edition, Warhammer in Times, Nagash, Warhammer in Times, Kane, Warhammer in Times, Archeon, Warhammer Rulebook, 8th edition, Warhammer Demons of Chaos, 1st edition, Demons of Chaos, 2nd edition, Dark Elves, 4th edition, High Elves, 5th edition, Orcs and Goblins, 3rd edition, Storm of Magic, Wood Elves, second edition, and Wood Elves, third edition. So if you've played any Warhammer product just about any time in the last 12 years, you were probably reading one of Matt Ward's babies. And now he's back. Interesting times. Could this be another sign of Warhammer 40K, Age of Sigmar? We shall see. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>